What do you kind of think are like some of the key things that like, uh, I would say differentiate like, you know, from like the good to the really great marketplaces? And is that something that, you know, um, you can kind of spot from the, you know, very early stages? Yeah, I mean, the, what you're looking for is high AOV uh, and high frequency, right? So you have to plot that chart and say, where am I? And if you are inside the boundary layer, then you don't really have a business. If you're inside a boundary layer, I don't know where that boundary layer is on your chart, but you draw sort of a red line and, and, and a curve there and say, look, if I have enough frequency, even if it's a low AOV, I can build a business. And if I have a high enough AOV, average order value, uh, or average sales price, ASP, um, but I, I don't need that much frequency in order to build a big business. So a good example of that would be like University of Phoenix, where they're charging people for two years times $8,000. So it's $16,000 ASP. You don't need that many people before you end up with uh, a pretty big pl uh, marketplace. Or you know, the example we give is um, if you look at uh, Zynga, right? So there was a gaming company and they, they're not a marketplace, but they, they, they demonstrated this by showing that they could have Farmville where they're making four cents a day per user they had 100 million people, and that was a business. And then they had Mafia Wars. Uh, that, and then we had Dragons of Atlantis as a gaming company that uh, was doing like $3.40 a day per user. So much more than $0.04 cents a day. But we didn't have that many users. We only had like 200,000 users. But we both of us had businesses. And then the best businesses was Mafia Wars because they had um, they had like uh, $1.80 per day, and they had 90 million users. Or eighty million, and so that was the that Mafia Wars was the core of Zynga's business because they had both high AOV uh, and and high frequency, and so um, or or large large number of users. So those are the those are the core things you look for, and then and then again, you really have to look at metrics driven CEOs and metric driven teams <clears throat> because these things are so hard to to manage and to fly. These planes are hard to fly. Like you have to be good at looking at your white hot centers and your sub segments on both the supply and the demand side. You have to notice the difference between certain types of buyers and the data, and then start to skew experiences for them, or funnels for them, or marketing for them, that sort of thing. So there's just a lot of detail orientation around that.